How do? It's Phil Lord Touch here, and today I am playing Popeye from DKtronics. This was made way back in 1985, and it was made by Don Priestley, uh, who also did Trapdoor and Flunky. Uh, though you'll probably be able to see that by the look of the game and uh, the colours, because it looks rather splendid, and Don Priestley did very well when he came to making games like this. Both the look and colours and lack of colour clash on this is quite fantastic. Uh, Don Priestley and DK Tronics have already had a game in the Old Sinclair Top 100. It was Maziax. Uh, I think that was at number 99. Uh, I was just thinking, DK Tronics didn't do uh, Trapdoor or Flunky. Was that Prana? Yes, it was Prana. Uh, by the way, it doesn't matter. Uh, still the same look and feel of Popeye, which is which is quite brilliant, really. Though the game is sluggish to play, uh, you've, you'll see the characters and everything else run, well, slowly move. It's like we've been placed under some sort of extremely heavy gravity. Now I've got a uh, well, well, I'll explain the game in a minute, but I'm going to punch in a minute. Uh, the game of the game of Popeye is that you are Popeye. Ta-da! And you have got to go through this game, this map, this world, and collect love hearts for olive oil, the lady in the window up there. However, there are a number of foes, including Bluto, who's just punched me in the face, um, that bird who knocks you down. Uh, there's a witch. What else is there? There's a blue flying insect bird thing. There's a uh, weird fish. And what else is there? Oh, there's a dragon. Uh, there's a sleeping dragon uh, somewhere on this map. I remember that dragon. I could never get past the dragon. Uh, there's the blue thing. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, I've edited this video, by, by the way. The game, like I said, looks fantastic. Don Priestley's done an amazing job. It's hard to think that Don Priestley... It's odd to think that Don Priestley, after he made a number of games, uh, didn't really like where the game's thing was going. He didn't like the oddities and whatnots of gaming. And then went back to teaching. He made some fantastic Spectrum games. Some Spectrum games and graphics that people could have learned from. Uh, but then just gave it all up and went back to teaching. That's a real shame, really, Don. Because uh, Popeye's looks, with the lack of colour clash, looks fantastic. You've done a grand job. Uh, though it is a bit slow. Must try harder. See me. I couldn't really give this to my daughters, though. Look, I think they'd get bored rapidly. But no, by the by again, the game itself is uh, it's playable. It's very playable. You go around, collect spinach, which gives you extra lives, find keys, which opens doors, collect the love hearts, take them to olive oil. I think there's about 25 or 26 love hearts all in all. Uh, I've got the key. That key should open it all. This door here in the lighthouse. And that's it. So it's a simple task. It's well thought out. Find the love hearts. Take them to one of all. Find keys to open doors. Collect spinach to give you lives. That's it. Simple enough to do. And what more do you need from a game? Very simple objectives. Uh, looks great. Just plays a little sluggish. That's all. That's for him. that's the only negative I can find about this game, is the uh, speed of it all. If it was a wee bit faster, I think this game would get full mark from myself. Here we go, give a love heart to olive oil. Then shuts the door on you. There's the bird. That bird often gets me. Right. Get myself a spinach can. Now if I up this rope here, is where we'll find the dragon. Now the dragon often got me because when I tried to get the love art up here, I never finished this game, even though I owned it. I never completed it. The dragon often got me. I could never sneak past it. 
I know what I'd do. When I finish the game, I'm going to go on YouTube to see a gal. I get past the dragon. See if I can complete this game once and for all. Jump down. Dragon with spits flames on you and knocks you out. I've got three lives here. I wonder if I can get out. Because I've got the key for the door. Positive I've got. Oh, no, I've not. The key for the door is the key above. I remember now. Jump up and get that key. You can get out through that door. But I should have got that love heart first. Should have got the love heart. That key opens that door. Oh. Game over for me. Game over, man. Never mind. Well, I'm going to leave you now. Look out for number 72. I'll see you soon. Cheerio. Bye-bye.